Have you ever felt yourself in overwhelm and doubt and discouragement when you've been working your business and just had a hard time picking yourself up after a hard day and you're like, I don't know how to get out of this funk. I know exactly what you're talking about and I'm gonna share with you my top 10 success thoughts for you to use anytime you're starting to feel doubt or overwhelm in your network marketing business. I shared these 10 success thoughts in an old podcast episode and I thought, you know what? It is our most downloaded, most loved podcast episode. So I thought I would come back here and kind of do a revamp of the success thoughts and I know that you will wanna use them anytime. Trust me, you will want to use these anytime you are having discouragement or doubt or a bad day with your business, come back, visit these, use these, share it with your team because I guarantee it's going to get you out of the funk and into action. But before we get into the 10 tips, if you're brand new to me, I'm Kristen Boss. I'm a sales and mindset coach for the network marketing and social selling industry. I teach social sellers how to show up authentically uh, with purpose and with sustainability so they don't burn out in their network marketing business. I give them relevant strategies and sales and marketing so they can grow their paychecks sustainably. I have 5,000 students in my social selling academy where students are getting results in their business in as little as 90 days. So be sure to follow me over on Instagram. That's usually where I'm dropping more fun content, uh, having some fun with reels and stories. So head over to the Kristen boss and follow me over there as well. Okay. So let's get into the 10 success thoughts. Let's start with number one. Number one is do less. Less is more. Oftentimes I notice that when we are feeling uh, frustrated in our business or things aren't quite going the way we want them to go, or we're feeling a little needy and desperate, maybe it's getting towards the end of month and you're like, my sales aren't where I thought they would be. My team's not, the volume's not where I thought it was going to be. What do I need to do? And I see people tend to throw more at it instead of going to What are the simple things that I can put my time into to get the most out of this activity? What activity, what simple thing can I do to leverage better? This is where I see people throw everything at the wall. They kind of go into spaghetti strategy and like, let's try this text campaign and this, you know, this last minute sale and this thing. And they just start either throwing incentives or money and specials at it. And it just creates confusion and overwhelm instead of really thinking about, okay, what can really be the one key? driver that I lean into right now to create the most leverage for this activity? Is it talking to your customers? Is it going live? But oftentimes we're in that scarce panic place where we're thinking, oh, I just got to hit my goal. I got to hit my goal. We throw too much at it and we end up just adding noise. And with your audience, a confused mind says, no, if too much, if they're getting too much intake and it's just all over the place, your audience is going to shut down and they're not going to buy anything. So oftentimes doing more is a disservice towards our goals. We just need to do less, but better. Okay. Number two is this thought. Ready? I have everything I need to succeed. I want you to really sit with that thought. I have everything I need. I can't tell you how often I see people stuck and overwhelmed and they go get lost in research land because they believe there's something I'm missing something. Something's wrong with me. I don't have everything I I need. And therefore I need to go find the thing that I think I'm missing, but I don't even know what that thing is. And that's where people are lost in research mode and learning mode. They download another course. You know, they are lost in YouTube, just looking up the how instead of believing what if I already have the tools inside of me to succeed? If I really believed that, what might I be going and doing? I can tell you what you'd be doing. You'd be working your business. You'd be making posts, having connections, talking to people, you'd be going live. But you, when you believe I must be missing something, instead of you working to create the result, you go off on some like, you know, mystery treasure hunt of like, I'm going to go find the one missing thing, the one key to my success. No, sit with yourself and remind yourself, I actually have everything I need to succeed and hit this goal. Number three is someone is ready to say yes to me today. I love this thought. It is my favorite thought. I used this to generate my first half a million dollars of sales in the online space. I got up every single day because a lot of times when you've been told no and there's crickets, it's very easy to not show up that day and be like, Meh, it's fine. Nobody's going to buy from me anyways. But you never know who's ready to say yes to you right now. And also when you're believing someone, someone in your audience is ready to say yes, 
how you word your content automatically changes. Because when you're showing up online believing someone's ready to say yes to you, I believe your content is more bold, it's more straightforward, it's more confident, because you're speaking to someone in the audience who's ready to buy. And that person is going to read that content and be like, dang, they're speaking to me, I love this, I'll buy. And also, I love that it it compels us to get up and do the action, because somebody, might say yes to you, even if they don't, you are closer today because you took action than if you had not taken any action at all. It keeps you in the income producing activity and inevitably somebody is going to say yes to you. Their yes is inevitable so long as you keep showing up. So definitely harness that thought, someone's ready to say yes to me today. Uh, Thought number four is what I have is valuable. I know that sounds so simple and straightforward, but I can't tell you how often people have drama around what they offer. And I know that because people say, well, my product's too expensive, people can't afford it, people don't wanna prioritize their health, people don't wanna spend this much on a product. But if you really, if you're saying that, then there's, I can't help but think there's a part of you that doesn't see the full value of what you offer. Because when you believe it's totally valuable, you're thinking, of course people would, you know, give up Starbucks to buy this thing, or of course they would cut things from their budget because what I have is valuable. And sometimes I see people with all the belief about the value of the product they sell, but they don't have that same thought when it comes to the business opportunity, that the business opportunity is valuable. Do you believe that? Because if you don't, then obviously you're not gonna do a good job bringing people into your organization because you don't inherently believe that the opportunity in and of itself, the ability to sell and market a product online and make money doing it is valuable. That is valuable in today's society when people are thinking about, I I don't wanna be at a nine to five, I wanna work for myself, I want flexibility. Having an option is valuable. Are you talking about the business opportunity, the business model as something with value? Do you believe in its value? Which brings me to my next point. You can believe it's valuable, but you also have to simultaneously believe that people want it. That's the next one. People want what I have to offer. You believing that people want it, that they, and they would gladly and willingly pay for it. Because if you're sitting around moping and thinking, my product's too expensive, people will only buy this on a, in a sale, nobody wants to buy this, oftentimes we tend to project our own experiences of when you bought the product. Maybe your thoughts when you bought the product were, this is too much, I can't afford this, I can't do this, and you're projecting that on your audience and thinking, well, everyone else must think that too. But that that's not true. But we tend to project our own beliefs and we make decisions for our audience. They they don't want it. They don't think it's valuable. They won't, you know, save money to buy this product. So it's really important you don't project your stories, your beliefs onto your audience and don't decide for them. Decide that people want what you have to offer because selling at its most basic level is you are just selling a solution to a problem somebody has, or you're selling Um, an answer to a desire that they have. You're just giving people what they want. And the moment you don't believe people want what you have to offer, it's impossible to sell because that's what selling is. Selling is just giving people what they want. And if you don't believe people want it, it's now impossible to sell. See what I'm saying there? Okay. The next one is it's working for me. Like really believing that the business activities you're doing, the, the daily actions you're taking is believing this is working for me. I just don't see the fruit of my labor yet. But most people, after a week or two, after a couple posts, after a couple tries, they decide, but it's not working because I don't see the results right now. I want you to practice embracing the word yet. It's not working for me yet, but it's impossible for it not to work if I stay in the activity. If I keep doing this, eventually it is going to work. My job is to be patient and keep putting in the work to guarantee my own outcome. So believing it's actually working for me. The next one is I can trust myself. I love this one, that you can trust yourself, saying I trust myself to follow up. I trust myself to keep going. I trust myself to show up when it's hard. But so many people sit with 
a complete and total lack of self-trust because they're like, well, look at the last time I gave up and I'm so inconsistent and I'm disorganized. And they walk around with all the reasons why they can't trust themselves instead of really sitting with, okay, here's all the reasons why I do trust myself and I'm working on building more trust with myself and building that evidence. Are you willing to build and create evidence that you can in fact trust yourself with building and growing an online business? Okay, the next one is I can help people. Notice how simple these are, but this is where I see everybody just get caught up and they stop showing up. People don't talk about the business because they're like, I don't know how to help anybody. I don't know how to talk about this business. I don't even know what I'm doing. I've barely made $50. I'm like, listen, you can help people. Look for evidence of how you are in fact somebody who is helpful to people. You don't have to be you know, in chapter 20 to be qualified to speak to somebody who's in their chapter one. You just need to be a little further ahead in the chapter to say, oh, I, I know what that's like. Okay, yeah, I have made a purchase. Yeah, I can help you share your link. Yes, I do know how to do that. But really sitting with the belief I can, in fact, help people. I can help people. But so many people are just walking around disqualifying themselves, saying, I can't help anybody. I don't know what to do. I'm lost. I'm confused. And they're constantly disqualifying themselves. The next one is my consistency is compounding to the results I want. You have to always be in the belief the consistency I'm generating today is compounding for the results and the outcomes that I want. I sat with that belief every single day, even when it was hard, even before the results came in, I just kept believing eventually all these habits are going to compound in my favor, which leads me to the last thought is my success is inevitable. Really believing the outcomes I want it's inevitable. It's going to happen. It's guaranteed. And I know for me, I believed that every single day. I'm like, I know who I'm going to help, how I'm going to help. I know like before I had a program with 5,000 students, I I envisioned and I saw the program before I even built it and created it. I was like, I'm going to have a program with thousands of students in it someday. And eventually I did. I just kept believing in the inevitability because for me, every day I took the action was more and more evidence stacked in my favor that I was in fact going to create the outcomes. Because here's what I believe. I believe it becomes impossible to achieve the outcome when you keep, when you keep, um, impossible to miss the outcome. I'll say that it becomes absolutely impossible to fail if you stay in the activity, which is why I believe when you are somebody who believes consistency is compounding, when you hold on to these thoughts, when you believe, listen, as long as I don't quit, my success becomes inevitable that changes everything. So the next time you feel down in your business, I want you to come back, come back to this episode, share it with a friend, tag somebody and come back and revisit one of these things and ask yourself, which one of these have I stopped believing? Which one of these do I need to clean up? Am I throwing too much at this? Am I not believing that I have everything I need to succeed? Am I not believing someone would say yes to me today? Am I not believing that what I have is valuable? Am I not believing that people want it? Am I not believing that it's working? Do I not trust myself? Do I not believe I'm capable of helping people? Do I not believe my consistency is compounding? Am I not believing in the inevitability of my success? Come back to any of these points anytime, sit down with them and get honest with yourself and change your thoughts, change your stories, because when you do that, your activity and your income is going to follow suit. If you loved this video, found it helpful, I'd actually love for you to share in the comments what the number one thought you want to work on is and maybe tag a friend, share it with somebody because I know this is so valuable and be sure to subscribe and follow for more.